Bonjour, mademoiselle, and you, bonjour, from the other side of the screen, bonjour, bonjour, I am Chef Paul, Chef Paul, a not so famous chef in Paris, but we, oui? we, oui? I can share to you many things that I learned from food service history in French Revolution, so, I'm a tell my tell my intern to take care of you guys and she will share the idea for me because I pay her with much money because she is my intern hi guys I am Miss Pauline Vernick Lopez and you can call me Miss Lopez for short I am the intern of Chef Paul and I hear that he says that he pays as much but it's definitely not true. I can still hear you. Oops. So let's proceed to the discussion. So let's talk about food service history in French Revolution. So before the French Revolution in 1789, great chefs worked with nobility and Food service was controlled by guilds. The revolutionary government abolished the guilds, which left many chefs without work. The French Revolution was the turning point of modern European history. It began in 1789 and ended with the ascension of Napoleon Bonaparte. King Louis XVI was executed by a guillotine. It is pronounced like a guillotine and I'll show you a picture somewhere here and the pronunciation Guillotine I can't pronounce it well But it is a, a beheading machine So it was used to the king and the queen of Paris Napoleon took charge of bloodstained France and thus began the Napoleonic era during this period, French citizens revolted against the current political landscape. There was a lot of stress and bakers, butchers, and everyone involved in the food industry. But how did political approval pave the way for fine dining? Think about those butchers and bakers. In the 18th century, French chefs were free to run their own restaurants and bakers and butchers and cheese makers. By 1814, there were more than 3,000 restaurants in Paris. Before the French Revolution, less than 50 restaurants existed in the city of love. So after the French Revolution, there's no limit in opening restaurants as long as you can. You can open one. Of course, you can manage, you can do anything you want in Paris. Fun fact, the first restaurant in Paris was founded by Beauvillier. Um, the word here and the pronunciation here. Beauvillier. I don't know how to pronounce it, so let's add the pronunciation here. So, in 1782, Called the Grand de Verdelon. Grand de Verdelon. So again, the spelling here and the pronunciation here. Grand, Grand Taverne de Londres. In the 19th century, wealthy Europeans frequented gourmet establishments, especially Allied officers. At this time, France experimented with travel, dining, and luxury accommodations all in one place and hence fine dining was born meanwhile 